about today is the shame surrounding finances that a lot of people have. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tom and Sense. Today I wanted to talk to you about a subject that uh, not a lot of people like to talk about and a lot of people struggle with and a lot of people need to talk about. What am I actually talking about? Finances, but not just finances. What I'm talking about today is the shame surrounding finances that a lot of people have. How does this happen? How does this occur and why is it still happening? And why, why do people have this shame and guilt and something don't like talking about finances? I'm not talking about not wanting to talk uh, about finances to people that you don't want to just share everything with. I totally understand that, right? Like if you don't want to share your finances with somebody, that doesn't constitute to me as guilt. That just means that you're guarding against letting people know all your financial information, which is a good idea. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is I'm having this guilt and this shame of finances. And when there are people out and about uh, in the community or wherever, professionals and banks, and they're looking to actually help your current situation and you're closed in you don't want to talk about it. we we see this a lot and in my business i see it a lot so it's about being able to sit down with someone and let them help you through the steps that you want to get to like everyone has a form of retirement that they want to achieve everyone has some financial goals that they want it that they have set and they hope to achieve but what i find is a lot of people don't want to talk about those things because they feel that they're so far away from their goal and that's where the shame comes in is like this guilt that i can't do this like this won't happen nobody can help me you don't know my situation now again if you're not willing to sit with somebody to help you that's your decision i'm not here to try and twist your arm and be like yeah you gotta go see you know you gotta be my client i gotta do this for you no that's not what this is about i'm talking about and i'm specifically talking to those people that are in that place and in that moment and they know they know in their heart of hearts that their relationship with their finances is not a good one. And they want to change. If you don't want to change, skip the video. Don't watch anything else. But if you do want to change and if you do want to develop and you do want to reach some of those financial goals and those retirement plans and everything else, you need to start. And you need to start today. It's not next week. It's not next month. It's not next year. Because just like anything else, it will just it will just get worse and worse so that shame that guilt just know that everyone has it once in a while it happens all the time and that's what money does to us all right there's people that hoard it there's people that save there's people that feel like that it defines them there's this attachment to finances like there's a video i did about your relationship with finances and what money really means to you until this is defined for you, the shame, this guilt, this nobody should see what I have or how I'm doing things, right? The struggle I have with budgeting, none of that, right? None of that will ever change if your relationship with your finances is a bad one. And that's where this really starts is step one, grow your relationship with finances. And what do I mean by that? define what money means to you and understand how it, it is an integral part of all of our lives, not just yours. So I have seen people that will tell me everything that they, that is on their balance sheet and they want to know, okay, how can I make this better? And then I've met people and clients that don't want to show me a certain part of their investments or don't want to show me a certain part of their lifestyle because they feel like I can't help. You can't do this for me. It's not, you know, it's not something I ever want to talk about. This is not for you. This is just my thing. And I get that. That's totally fine. And some of those conversations never go anywhere. And that's okay. But what I 
what I want people to understand is that those situations, even though that you think that nobody else can help you, there's somebody out there that can help you. That there's somebody that's been through that same situation, been in the same circumstances, and maybe even had it worse, and they've come through the other side. And that's what you should be striving for as well. I'm an open book when it comes to finances. I've, if, if I'm investing and if somebody else can do it better for me and I trust them and I see that they're doing things the right way and they're the kind of person I want to become in that certain field, here you go. Look at it. See if I can do any better, right? There's certain things that I won't move because there's things that I enjoy doing. So the second thing is, again, in the in the steps is talk to others just you know what if it's not going to be a financial advisor if it's not going to be somebody at the bank talk to a friend talk to somebody that you trust talk to somebody that would be open to helping and sitting with you to make sure that you can get through these steps i mean i see people struggling with budgeting and budgeting honestly isn't very difficult it's not a difficult thing. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I, you know, I see all these videos on YouTube about budgeting and how to's, you know, I even did one. But you know what it really comes down to? Is your relationship with finances. Budgeting isn't difficult. Because if you set your priorities and you understand what that money's for and you commit to goals, it's done. It's over. Just like going to the gym, right? You see videos on how to get motivated to go to the gym. You don't need motivation to go to the gym. You need to understand at your core what going to the gym is going to provide for you. And that delayed gratification, just get out of your system, stop being a you know what, and just go. You gotta go. And once it goes, and once it like it's in your heart and you understand why you're doing it, you don't need the motivation because you're gonna do it. Because you know in your heart of hearts and your and at your core that it's the thing that you need to do. And then it's easy to do. Sometimes it's difficult, right? You're like gonna have up and down days, right? I did a video on, you know, not being mo motivated to go to the gym, but still going because I know I need to go because this is like, this is who I am and I just go. So same thing with finances, same thing with the shame that comes along with finances and not being where you want to be. Realize, where do I want to be with finances? Where do I want to go? How, does, how do I want to make this look? And yes, I totally agree, understand that some people have a much more financially difficult time than others. I can sympathize there for sure. But everyone, everyone can go talk to someone that can help them somewhere. Whether it's to save on insurances, whether it's to uh, better invest, whether it's to uh, move some things around so you're not giving uh, Justin Trudeau all your taxes at the end of the year, there is somebody out there willing and able to help you in your current situation, no matter how shitty you think you have it. And that's just the truth. And if you're, if you're offended by that, and if you don't think so, you know what? You'll always be in this situation. You'll always be there. You won't move. If you don't think that somebody can help you, you're stuck already. Trust me. Trust me, I've seen this more than once before in my short time being in this business, how people have said, you can't help me, right? And some people, I wasn't able to help. However, I was able to refer them to people that were because it wasn't my time to be able to help them. And I'm okay with that. That's totally fine. I don't need every, everyone uh, that I meet to be a client. Trust me, I'm not looking for tons of clients. That's not what this is. This video is about. This video is about your relationship and understanding that there is somebody out there that can help you in your situation. There is. There is. Uh, you cannot convince me otherwise. Whether it's a 
close relative, whether it's a specialist, there is somebody out there that can help you and can do better than what you think you can do. Because we all have these things. Well, you know what? I, I, I'm doing pretty good, right? But I, I don't need any other information. I, I'm, I'm totally fine. I'm totally set. Because, you know what? I've decided this is what I want. And if that's, a, if that's, that's your decision, great. But understand that there's somebody out there that can provide more information. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. I'm always, uh, I'm always reading all the comments. So thank you guys. Common sense, because common sense isn't so common.